TLDR is, Trivi is super user-friendly and super easy to use because I'm the first user, okay? Hi there and welcome back to the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel. My name is Anis Urlichs, I'm the Open Source Developer Advocate here at Aqua and I want to show you one of our cool new features from the latest release, version 0.35.0 of Trivi. Trivi is an all-in-one security scanner, meaning it does all the scans. <laughs> and now it also does your VM, virtual machine scans from AWS. Let's have a look. So this is Trivi our all-in-one security scanner. Here's the repository, also linked below. Here's the documentation. Now on the documentation, you will find the getting started guide here and the installation. The installation has lots of different options so you can install Trivi. Now once you have Trivi installed, you want to just check that you have version 0 0.35.0 installed, okay? Next, in the CLI section, you will find the documentation for the entire Trivi CLI, including virtual machine image scanning. Overview. Note that it's experimental, okay? So it's, it's just being tested and developed further. So this is just the start of it. Um, <laughs> now here you can find our release note from the same version, version 0.35.0. And here you can find an overview of how image scanning will look like. Now, currently, Trivi does two types of scanning, AMI, image scanning, uh, the snapshot scanning, and well, AMI scanning, the image scanning, and then the Trivi uh, EBS snapshot scanning. So basically in AWS, you can spin up an EC2 instance, virtual machine, right, from an AMI image. But it, there's no need to scan their default images here. What you do is you create an instance and that Im instance then has your custom image. And um, basically from that instance, for example, this Trivi test instance, you could then create a snapshot. Um, you can create an AMI and the AMI is basically then your custom image and you can also create an EBS snapshot. That's basically the EBS is the storage, the volume, everything that is within that instance. So we have created an AMI and here's the AMI ID and we want to use Trivi now to scan this. So we're gonna go back and we say Trivi VM and you can find a list of everything you can do with Trivi VM. So in our case, we want to scan our AWS AMI. So we're gonna say for vulnerability checks. And then you need here, you need the ID of the AMI. So you copy the AMI ID and you paste it here. The entire AMI ID also with AMI dash. Um, and then you scan it. Now you have to be logged into the AWS uh, CLI console on your terminal to scan it, okay? Now it's performing the scan. Now the AMI scan is using the EBS snapshot for that AMI under the hood. So every AMI is using a snapshot, EBS snapshot under the hood. The thing is um, that makes this type of scan makes the user experience and the usability so much easier. It's so user friendly because you don't need to export anything. You don't need to download anything. You just provide Trivi with the AMI ID and it can perform the scan based on the EBS snapshot underneath. That's super straightforward. We had something less user friendly before. I just want to point it out. And I was complaining about it because I couldn't get it to work. And if I can't get something to work, then there are likely other people who can't get it working as well because AWS is so complex, not because Trivi was complex. Trivi was just following AWS practices, which making things complex. So we decided, okay, we are gonna change it. We are just gonna use um, the other resources connected to an AMI instead of um, exporting things around, okay? so. TLDR is Trivi is super user friendly and super easy to use because I'm the first user, okay? <laughs> Keep that in mind. Um, <laughs> anyway, so we're performing the scan. What does it do? The AMI um, has a snapshot underneath and the snapshot is basically the volume of all the files and storage and so on. Um, 
and EBS is basically um, block storage. Elastic block storage? No, how does it? Yeah, elastic block storage. So EBS. And it's basically blocks of information and these blocks of information contain files. Now Trivi will go through the blocks in one of those storage EBS things and see if those blocks are relevant. Now, if the block is relevant to the scan, if there's something that has to be scanned, it will then download the block and scan the files within. If the block is not relevant, it will skip that block, which is making the Trivi scan very, very efficient. The thing is that these resources are really, really big usually, and they take a lot of time to scan overall. Um, but it takes a lot less time than having actually to run the VM, mount the volume to it, and then perform the scan from within the VM, which you have to do with other security scanners. In this case, I don't need any space on my local machine to perform the scan. I don't need to mount anything to anything else. I don't need to run anything. It's super effective, meaning I can also perform VM scans easily within my CSD pipeline. So here's some of the benefits of Trivi VM scanning. Go check out the blog post. It's linked below as well in the description if you would like to have a more compact and nice and more straightforward explanation of all of the amazing benefits of Trivi VM scanning. Okay, so once the scan is finished, you will see a table of different vulnerabilities. Now this just scan for vulnerabilities in this image. Oh, there are lots. Um, <laughs> you can also scan for misconfiguration. Ah, here we go. Um, now, as you can see, there are <laughs> over 353 uh, vulnerabilities in just um, this part. So, um, anyway, obviously, there is really difficult to go through all of them. Um, so, you might want to update your image instead of fixing things one by one, since most of these parts already have a fixed version available. Again, you can filter by fixed version and so on. With Trivi, the flags are still pretty much the same. So once we have scanned our AMI image from our instance for vulnerabilities, we can scan EBS snapshots. So here you have the volumes, but of those volumes, you can create a snapshot. So we can use this snapshot and you need the snap ID here and then you look up the command trivi vm <laughs> we don't have to remember commands so it's ebs and then trivi vm ebs and you provide the id the snap id and then you can perform a scan as well directly off the snapshot instead of um the running instance or the ami now again every ami has a snapshot of the volume um, underneath. So Trivi basically performs the scan of the snapshot directly of the EBS snapshot. Now we wait until the scan has performed. Okay, so here's our EBS scan. And as you can see, since we didn't specify that we only want to scan vulnerabilities in the flag before, uh, we also have here our misconfigurations, including exposed secrets, um, and misconfigurations um, shown to us in addition to a list of vulnerabilities. Now that's as part of our EBS scan since we didn't specify again an additional flag here to only scan for vulnerabilities. Before in our AMI scan, as you can see, we specified security checks, vulnerabilities, so it didn't provide us with exposed secrets and uh, misconfigurations. Like always, I hope this video was useful. If you want to see any other tutorials, if you have any questions that you would like to see tutorials or explanations on in video format, then please do comment them below or do join our <laughs> Slack channel and post your questions there or create a GitHub discussion or an issue if it's something that doesn't seem to be working. Get involved in the conversation. We would love to have you part of the community and getting involved. Um, now, also linked below is the link to the Slack channel, to the GitHub repository and everything else I've been using in this, <laughs> in this video. It would mean a lot to us if you could give this video a thumbs up and a yay and subscribe to our channel and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. Now I really hope to see one of our next videos. Have an amazing week. See you then. Bye bye.